So it's time for some more World War I action today. Back in Battlefield 1. And we're playing probably the most World War I of World War I maps. We're here on Passchendaele, which was part of the, uh, the Apocalypse DLC. And I can already tell you right now, this round is going to be chaotic. It's going to be muddy. But the atmosphere is just off the charts on this map. Already, I mean, look, you can tell. I mean, we are in the muddy wastelands of France. And it's the British versus the Germans. And it's all going to be just one big atmospheric mess. <laughs> but before we get into the World War One action, I do have a sponsor all the way from 2020 for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Gigabyte and their Aorus 15G gaming laptop. Now, I'll be doing a full review of this laptop in a few days' time, but just for now, I want to briefly tell you how awesome this machine is. I've been using it for about a week, and it's very clearly on the bleeding edge of portable gaming hardware. Arguably, its standout feature is the 240Hz 1080p display, which gives you a properly responsive gaming experience on the go, and that thing is powered by an Intel Core i7-10875H processor from their brand new 10th gen lineup, alongside an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Super GPU, which is another brand new component. These combined with 16GB of RAM means the Aorus 15G just crushes games at 1080p and it delivers really solid frame rates to make use of that display. And for some icing on your cake, it also comes with an Omron Switch mechanical keyboard built in. And it's really quite impressive how they've managed to put that in and keep the CNC aluminium chassis so thin and light at the same time. The Aorus 15G is just a portable powerhouse. If you want to play games on the go or you wanted to get stuck into some content creation, this is really all you need. There's a link at the top of the description that you can click to find out more and make sure you look out for the full review coming in a few days time. That's right, get hit fired boy. Get hit fired. So yeah, I'm going to use the Lewis gun with my lovely <laughs> gold weapon skin on it. It's going to be very dirty by the end of the video, I can tell you that right now. But um, I'm just so excited to play this map. It doesn't come up in the rotation very often, this map. Uh, but at the moment, uh, Apocalypse DLC is being highlighted, I think, by uh, by DICE. So yeah, you get a you get a rotation of the three maps from the Apocalypse DLC, which is great. Where'd that medic go? Did he just like fall into the ground? No, I think he got killed. Look, there he is, there he is. Um, but yeah, so it's great that this is being highlighted because it's just an absolutely fantastically chaotic mental map, this one. Which is what you want from World War One. It was just blind chaos a lot of the time. Especially with the trenches and stuff. God, the sound of this Lewis gun. Really, really nice. Look how muddy the weapon is already. I only proned once. <laughs> The polish this game has, man. Just the like the visuals of Battlefield One are, are unrivaled. I think absolutely unrivaled. I, I know Battlefield Five is the later game, but honestly, I do believe that this is just a better-looking game. This point here is arguably the most chaotic. The Charlie point in the wood, where it's just completely destroyed after a battle or after the artillery fires come in. Like this bit here, like wow. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. It's all on fire. The rain's coming in. There's even uh, like little bits of gas that are left over like in the water. You can see that there. I don't know if it actually hurts you if you're prone in it. No, it doesn't. But like, yeah, look, there's a bit more here where the gas just rained in and it's got caught in the water. Right, see if we can push back up towards the church here. See if I can get the uh, squad leader to mark it. I can hear a sniper. Oh, he's right here. Oh my god, he blended right in! I didn't see him! I'm surprised he didn't whip out his pistol and try and kill me. That's what I would have done. We've locked them in around A. Which again is a pretty chaotic area, so... Oh! He's right there! Oh, they are over at B. We might have to go there. Oh, that looked like a firing squad. They were both kneeling down and this guy was just... <laughs> You're right down there, mate. You're crawling around in the mud. Hope he doesn't get trench foot. This is actually, I don't know if, if you guys know this, uh, but if you played the Battlefield 1 war stories, 
Um, this is the Storm of Steel map um, that you play in the uh, the prologue. Is it the prologue or the epilogue? The bit that happens right at the start. It's like, they push, we push. And <laughs> that really epic moment where everything's slowed down and you're firing like boom, 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 boom from machine guns and stuff. This is that map. And um, I think a lot of players for the longest time were asking for a more World War One feeling map than anything else that had come out. And, and Passchendaele was the obvious candidate for that. So they converted the single player map into a multiplayer map. And honestly, it's, it's so good. Oh, 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 oh. Time to die. <laughs> I took it over. Oh, the smoke's coming in. There's a guy up here. I can see him on the minimap. Wonder if he gets killed. I think he got killed. <laughs> I think he might have got killed. Kill the sanitator. Oh, he took a few hits. There we go. Got him. Oh. Oh no, I'm just on fire from something on the ground. Oh no! He's coming with his bottle! Ooh, just heard him. Are you okay? We have lost objective. <laughs> Are you okay? It's alright, I'll give you ammo if you need it. Whoa, the rocket gun. Is he still alive or did he die? No, he died. He died. Suppression! Got a guy. And another. He was about to get his Model 10 out. I could see that. That looks like the Model 10. Oh, medic! Pop a nade. Oh, no, they're firing from everywhere. I'm going to have to run away. Oh, I got the kill! <laughs> yes, morning, Anyone going to come through those flames? No, I don't think so. Joe, let's, let's flank. Oh, this guy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Got him. Nice. Looks like there's another machine gunner. There is. There he is. Got him. We got him, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. Oh, guy! Hello! I was just about to say that was there. Footsteps. Oh, there he is. There he is. Can we get the melee? Can we get the melee? Yes, we can. <laughs> oh, this game is so fun. Wow, that melee there. Did you see that? He just like absolutely dunked on that guy. Well, I thought for the uh, for the last few hundred tickets we'd. Um, We'd switch over to true Battlefield 1, like, reveal footage kind of stuff and go with the MP18. Everyone remembers the MP18. But this has actually got the, um, the Aras skin on it, the Battlefield 5 skin that you got for pre-ordering it. Oh, I do have a bayonet on this. No, leave me alone. Oh, we got him. Although I didn't get the kill, but it was a kill, which is interesting. Get bayoneted straight through the wood. <laughs> Apparently. Can I do another one? No, hang on a minute. There they go. Another one! <laughs> the double bayonet. Loving it, right. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> the artillery's coming in now. Oh. Who did I get ta I got taken out by a sniper? Oh, it was a medic. Alright, I'll let you have that one. Oh. How did you not kill me? There he is. There we go. Nice little double kill there. Oh. You're going on my kill list, good sir. You are going on my kill list. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. Was that a sniper glint I saw there? I'm not sure if it was. Oh. Someone else has figured it out. They've gone with the MP18. Well, this has just been awesome. This has been incredible. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm playing the game. Like, you can see my FPS in the top corner. I've been playing on a 150% resolution scale at 1440p on ultra settings with everything turned on. Just for fun. Because I was like, I want the ultimate experience of this atmosphere. And that's exactly what I got. That is exactly what I got. I think I just got the final kill. I think I did, you know. Oh, that was absolutely incredible. Battlefield 1, the atmosphere is just unrivaled. Nothing beats it. And like I said in the last Battlefield 1 video, if, if you're not playing this game, you should definitely go back and play it because it is so much fun.